Were you, were you able to receive oh. our questions? I did. I did receive them, and I forwarded them along to the aquarium. Um, today, this is Brittany. Um, Hi, Brittany. Brittany. Hi. Talking Hi. with us about one of our biologists in the aquarium. Oh. Um, and some of our other biologists, Marilyn's hanging out, and Jeff, and they might jump in. Um, but Brittany's going to be doing the bulk, and um, these are, this is our manatee aquarium. Um, we're standing on a dock for a man to move in and out of their vet pool, so you might see them coming out from below us. Um, we're not levitating, we are on a dock, so. All right, cool, here we go. So, uh, welcome. This man over here, that is Snooty. He is taking a nap right now. He just had a really, really big lunch. You know how you guys like to take naps after you lunch? Yeah. No. Yeah. He uh, does have two other friends with him. Uh, their names are Sarah Tolo and Ice Cube. They are actually wild manatees. Uh, they were rescued because they were sick with something called cold stress syndrome. And this is kind of like a manatee pneumonia hypothermia when they get stuck out in cold water. Manatees are tropical animals. They couldn't live up there in Wisconsin like you guys. They have to have warm water and warm weather. So as soon as it gets below 68 degrees, manatees, they need to move to where the water is warmer. But unfortunately, these two manatees, they were unable to do that. They got sick. They were not able to find the warm water for whatever reason. But luckily, they were rescued and rehabilitated. And now we're just trying to prepare them for their release. Right now, they're about two to three years old, about 500 to 600 pounds, and our goal is to get them up to 800 pounds. So they just need to mature a little bit and fatten up a little bit too. So we might as well help them fatten them up by feeding them. So right behind you, I'm gonna grab this feeding tube. Well, you can see what they have for lunch today, some romaine lettuce, <laughs> one of their favorites. And throw it on in and lunch is served. Well, manatees are herbivores. They're kind of like the vegetarians of the sea. They eat nothing but plants and vegetation. So in the wild, they'll eat sea grasses and river grasses, uh, algae, water hyacinths, all different types of plants. Now they have huge appetites. Each manatee will eat about 8 to 10 percent of its own body weight each day. For, for example, Snooty over here, who's about 1,100 pounds, probably a little bit more, he eats around 100 plus pounds of food a day. So a lot of it is the romaine lettuce. He also gets cabbage, kale, broccoli. For dessert, Snooty gets some carrots and sweet potatoes. So lots and lots of food. Now Snooty is the only manatee that we hand feed here. Snooty will only eat if you hand feed him. He's gotten a little bit spoiled over the many years of his life. So he likes to be hand fed, but his wild friends, we want to keep them wild. So we don't want to hand feed them. We don't want them to learn that food comes from people. We want them to be able to find food on their own. So those tubes that I throw in are what we call environmental enrichment devices. So they stick to the bottom and they're supposed to encourage natural foraging behavior. They have to go looking for their food and find it on their own and not look for people. So when they're released, it's a much easier transition for us. Speaking of release, we're expecting to release those two manatees next winter, probably January or February of 2017. So they're still big growing boys. Uh, they are just juveniles right now. Uh, Snooty, again, he's about 1,100 pounds, 10 feet long. He's average size for a male manatee. They can usually be about 1,000 to 2,000 pounds. Uh, the females, though, the females can get up to 3,000 pounds. So they get pretty large. So let's see if Snooty's going to come join us today. If he wants to come say hello. And have to make some water noises and do his attention. This right here is a target. Snooty is a very intelligent manatee, and he has been able to be target trained. So by putting this target in the water, he knows that if he comes, and touches his nose to this target, will get a reward. That's what we call positive reinforcement. So, let's see if Snooty's in the mood to cooperate. <laughs> yes, he is. Good job, Snooty. And a reward. Good job, Snooty. So this is Mr. Snooty, our famous resident manatee. We get him to back up a little bit. You can see him. What makes Snooty so famous is his age. Snooty is the oldest manatee on record. 
uh, in captivity and probably, arguably, the oldest manatee in the world. So he's 67 years old. His birthday is July 21st, and he was born in the year 1948. So we really don't know how long he's going to live. Uh, he is the oldest to do this so far, so every day that he lives, he sets a new record, and we learn something else from him. But unfortunately, wild manatees have an average lifespan of about 15 years old or so, so they don't live very long. And that's because they do face a lot of dangers and threats in the wild. Um, they are an endangered species still, uh, so threats they face include natural causes like cold water and red tide. Now, manatees have no natural predators, so that's not something they have to worry about. But people, humans, if anything, are a new predator to them. There's a lot of things that we do that affect manatees. They get hit by boats, entangled in fishing gear. They get stuck in all the uh, fishing gear that's left behind. They can inject that material and pollution. And our overall change of their habitat and habitat loss effects. I'm going to head over here on this dock and see Tootie from over there because he doesn't really want to stick around, but I will start answering all the questions, the great questions you guys sent off. Okay. All right, Tootie. <laughs> okay, so I already answered some of these questions, uh, but how long can manatees in the wild grow to be? Well, they can get up to 1,000, 2,000 pounds. Females get up to 3,000 pounds. 14 feet long, so they're very large. And are they intelligent? Yes, you got to see that Snooty was uh, able to be trained, target trained. Uh, he also knows a couple other behaviors. We'll see if he'll do one of his famous behaviors. I have to grab a chair. I forgot to grab one of those. Alrighty. But Snooty, come on up. Alright, buddy. Behavior that Snooty taught himself. He can pull all his hooks all over the pond up out of the water. That's kind of cute. That is very cute. He can roll over too and show his underside. <clears throat> so they are very intelligent animals. So how many times do we see Snooty a day? It's all day. He has a hundred pounds to go through does take a very, very long time to feed him. So there's no set feeding time. It's kind of an all-day thing on and off. So what does he eat? He eats all vegetation, so sea grasses, I'm sorry, so romaine lettuce, uh, celery, cabbage, kale, broccoli. So he even gets uh, these sweet potatoes and carrots for his dessert. Roll over soon. He can't have too many sweet potatoes and carrots, though, because if he eats way too much, he gets really big fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Judy has friends that like to play together. The two younger males <laughs> do like to socialize with one another, but Judy, he does kind of ignore them. He chooses to keep to himself, uh, doesn't really like to play or chase around with them, but they're all still very friendly and nice to one they don't interact with each other in any aggressive way and not territorial, so everyone gets along just fine. How large is Snooty's pool? This is a 60,000 gallon pool and it is fresh water. Uh, the manatees can live in fresh water, salt water, and grass pools. And then how deep is it? Right here on this ledge, it's about 4 feet deep, but in the center, it gets up to 10 feet deep. Snooty, it feels very comfortable in the shallow area, so usually if you're looking Thank you. 
Will they be released the same place where they were found at? They're going to be released into a warm water rescue. Uh, because they were rescued for cold stress syndrome, that gives us the uh, idea that they were unable to find warm water on their own. So when we release them, they're going to go into a warm water refuge close to where they were rescued from. So Saracol is going to be going up to the Tico power plant where there's warm water discharge. And then uh, I is going to be going down Fort Myers and their warm water refuge there. So will they look for the, like their families? Are they at all family oriented like um, orca whales are? Manatees are not family oriented. A strong bond is between mother and calf and that only lasts for about a year to two years. So though they are considered semi-social and they do enjoy coming together to socialize, they don't have a dependency for family groups. They do not travel in herds pods or anything like that. When you see the big groups moving together, it's because they're all in the warm water refuges staying warm or maybe they're in a mating herd. And which um, world record book is Snooty in or will he be in? He's going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records. For which year? I think that's coming out this year. They, they're going to be making a uh, final announcement, I think, in two, end of 2016. Okay. So I'm going to pass this around for Kitsap's questions then. How long, how long did it take to build the pool? How long did it take to build the pool? Uh, that I don't know. That was back in 1993. I believe it was a very long year project. Do manatees accidentally bite you when you sometimes feed them? Can manatees accidentally bite me? Well, Snooty does have teeth, so that is a correct statement, but they are way in the back of his mouth. So I would have to stick my hand this far into his mouth to even get to his teeth. So Snooty can't bite me, but they're also very gentle animals. I hope he would never want to either. <laughs> How old was Snooty when you got him? Snooty was just 11 months old when he came to Bradenton. Now, he was born in an aquarium. He was born in Miami, Florida. Uh, but he only lived there for less than a year. He moved over to Bradenton in 1949. How big is Snooty's tail? What was that question? How big is how, Snooty's how tail? How big is Snooty's tail? So Snooty's tail, last time we measured it, it's about three feet across. So it is a very, very large tail. Does Snooty play with a lot of toys? Does so Snooty play with a lot of toys? Uh, Snooty is very food motivated. He likes to eat and eat all day. As far as playing with toys, it's more of just touch and feeling his environment. He chooses uh, to seek interaction from his caretakers and really to eat. He doesn't really engage in, with toys all that much. Uh, the wild manatees are very food motivated as well. So as far as playing with toys, not something that they're going to be doing every day, but we still offer them enrichment. Enrichment is kind of a fancy word for a toy for them. Uh, in the form of there's some bowling balls at the bottom of the pool, seashells, there are feeding tubes for enrichment, and even the logs are. So I don't see them move them around all that often, but we do come in in the morning, and stuff is all over the place, so I do assume that they probably are a bit, um, pretty moving everything around at the end of the night when they're playing. I'm going to put this camera back on. More questions? What other animals do you have in the... Rescue. So we only have manatee rescue right now at this pool. Our aquarium does uh, have some other little fish aquariums and saltwater and freshwater aquariums, but as far as in this pool, it's just manatees. Has Snooty ever gotten ill? Has Snooty ever gotten ill? Uh, 
he does have two doctor's appointments uh, each year. We're able to have the doctor come in and give him a full checkup. And as of right now, he has yet to find anything wrong with him. But if you do notice, Judy has two scars on his side, or maybe you saw them earlier. They look like holes. Those are just scars from skin abscesses that were removed of little skin infections about 40 years ago. Um, what do they do when they die? What do they do with them? Uh, we don't have the manatees die here, so we don't have to do anything with them here. He's wondering, though, if something happened to Snooty, you said he was very old, would he be buried then? That's going to be up to uh, the Fish and Wildlife. At that point, uh, Snooty's not really our property to do anything with, so that is for them to decide. He is still protected by the Endangered Species Act, so he's not, he's not like your average day pet. We can't treat him that way. Okay. <clears throat> is Snooty big? Yeah. Snooty is very big. He's about 10 feet long and 1,100 to 1,200 pounds. Oh, have any of the manatees in the aquarium oh, um, ever got hurt? Have the manatees ever gotten hurt in the aquarium? Uh, we haven't had any manatees get hurt here. We make sure everything's very safe for them. How big do you think, think Snooty will get? Snooty's not going to get much bigger. He is full grown, uh, though he may gain some weight during different seasons. His length is pretty much going uh, to change to uh, stay the same. But we do notice that his tail, because it is made of cartilage, just like our nose and our ears, can also keep growing as he ages. So we see that it's a little bit bigger, but as far as his overall size, that's not going to change. Has any of the manatees ever tried to escape in the pool? Have any of the manatees tried to escape? Uh, Snooty, you saw that he pulled himself out of the water. That's kind of an amazing thing that I've never ever seen any other manatee do. So it's very, very unlikely you'll ever be able to have a manatee escape from our pool. Has any man wait no, have any people ever fallen into the manatee tank? <laughs> <laughs> that's the best nightmare we have all the time. No, we've never had anybody fall in the tank and I hope never on our lunch either. <laughs> And we saw somebody this morning that looked like they were down maybe cleaning or doing maintenance down there, a diver. Yes, uh, we were in the pool this morning because manatees eat a lot of food, they make a lot of mess. So we have to go down and clean the pool and make sure everything is clean. Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you. 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 Nope, just we just get the pool to uh, clean the pool and maintenance. Is is um Snooty a, um, a friend to everyone? Is he a friend to everyone? Is Snooty a friend to everyone? Well, Snooty is a very special manatee. He has been around people for more than half of his life. He does seek out attention from us and does enjoy our care. So yeah, Snooty is a friend to all. And he's an ambassador for wild manatees, more importantly. At 67 years old, he's proving that manatees can live very, very long lives if they don't have any of the threats or dangers that wild manatees face. And he's also a friend to wild manatees. Have any other animals gone to the manatees' tank? Uh, just manatees in the oh. pool. <laughs> um, what are those wooden pillars around the manatee tank for? <coughs> What are the, the, the wooden, wooden pillars behind you? This was supposed to uh, look like a natural um, dock and marina in our local area. So you'll see a lot of marinas like this with a lot of docks and pilings where people have their boats tied up. And so they were just trying to make this look like a natural, not maybe not natural, but a man made thing. Does the manatees like when the kids like pound on the glass? I don't think they like that, no. Yeah. They thought that would be an annoyance to them. They do have very good hearing, so sudden disturbances like <coughs> vibrations or loud noises in their habitat can really scare them. Has a manatee, uh, like, grow, like, be born without a flipper and then you had to rescue him? Uh, we don't do the rescuing here, but as far as fish and wildlife, uh, the wildlife officials who go out to rescue manatees, I 
I've never heard of one being born with one slipper that needed rescue. But those are the types of things they do do. They do rescue manatees that are in need of care. Um, how many manatees have you rescued, rescued so far? Judy's had a total of 30 roommates come and uh, stay at his, his house. So it's very nice of him and generous of him to open up his home. <coughs> Has Judy ever misbehaved or done something naughty? <laughs> Judy, uh, Judy does get his moves and he likes to sometimes try to train us. Uh, but as far as doing anything really bad or naughty, no, Judy's still a very good boy. Sometimes he doesn't eat his broccoli, so that's bad. He likes to eat his broccoli. <laughs> um, and earlier today, Judy was ignoring me. He wanted to go take a nap. And, but that's, you know what? It's up to him. It's his day. He can do whatever he wants with it. So we're not making him do anything. Have any manatees gone into a fight? Have any manatees gotten into a fight? Uh, they're very gentle, non aggressive <laughs> animals, so. They really don't fight or gang up on each other. They all live peacefully and they'll even share their same food. Has a manatee, has Snooty ever missed uh, one of his uh, roommates in the pool? With Snooty, he really does not form much of an attachment to them. We see that it is enjoyable for him to have roommates around. You know, he's not so lonely. Uh, but it does like his alone time. Oh, after they leave and you know, we get to have some privacy for a while, but we don't see him mourn or be sad when they leave. He acts uh, in similar behavior. So when you bring other manatees in, what is your process? Do you just put them in the tank with him, or do you have another tank beside there that he can see them, first of all? We have a, uh, a medical pool in the back, so that's where they first arrive into. Uh, they can, once we do lift the, the first gate open, they will be able to see each other. But manatees are not, they're semi-social, so they're not forming big family groups. And as far as relationships among them, they're not going to be aggressive towards one another or territorial or not accepting in the habitat. So pretty much they come and say hello, and they find their own food, and they all get along just fine. How do you tell Snooty? What was that question? How do you tell Snooty apart from the other manatees? Well, Snooty is so... He's the biggest manatee that we have in here. He usually is always the biggest since we're getting juvenile manatees. He's also the only one that's going to approach the caretakers, and he has two scars on his side. Uh, again, that I was talking about that look like little holes. How do you guys put in new manatees in the tank? How do you put them in? Uh, there's a medical pool in the back where we're able to uh, lift them in with a big crane from the first floor and uh, drop them in, uh, bring them up from the second floor and into the back pool. So do, do you have a big, do you have a big area, like a window that you put them in through or a hatch or what? It's, it's, a, it's a door that we carry them in on and then we, we lift them up with a crane. I think we have time for two more questions. How did you name Snooty? Like, how did you come up with the name? So when Snooty was born, they originally thought he was a she, so they named her after a popular radio uh, show called The Baby Snoop Show. And he was Baby Snoop, and when he found out that he was a boy, they decided it was more masculine. He found more like a boy to call him Baby Snoop, and then when he turned 21, just Snooty. Um, uh, what's probably the dumbest thing Snooty's ever done? Dumbest things to each other done. Well, he's a very intelligent animal, so I, I won't really call any of his teenagers dumb. Um. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have to let you go because I think you have a feeding presentation in just a few minutes, don't you? Yes. Okay, Me well, too. we have enjoyed having you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks for visiting us today via Skype, guys. We hope to see you soon. Okay, maybe we'll come down on vacation. <laughs> or a field trip if we can talk our superintendent into it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. 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 bye.